So this is supposed to be the great Vinnie Cannoli. That's right, Louie. They call him the tyrant of Thugtown. Oh, yeah? Never heard of that place. You're kidding me, right? Who's never heard of the Thugtown incident back in 28? No, what about it? Nobody really knows what happened over there. But the story goes that the local gangsters peddled some bad hooch, turning the entire city into a bunch of crazy cannibalistic freaks. Wow, for real? Yeah, I kid you not. Zombies do. In the end, the army gassed the entire town with everyone in it. The whole area has been quarantined ever since. That's freaking whack, man. So where does our little pal here fit in? Well, there was only one guy who miraculously survived the whole massacre. Didn't have a scratch. They say he must have done some nasty stuff to get out of there alive. The government tried to make him do time. But in the end, the whole incident was swept under the rug. And therefore, all charges against him were dropped. Wow, seems like quite a fella. So, Tony, who was that guy? <laughs> you kidding me, Louie? We're looking at him. Wow, you're joking, right? <laughs> he doesn't look so tough now, does he? Just untie me and I'll give you a demonstration. <laughs> He's got a big mouth, that's for sure. I got the chainsaw right here, Tony. <laughs> Let's make this a night to dismember. <laughs> <laughs> Good one, Louie. But no can do, my friend. The Dark Dawn wants him alive, but we can straighten him out a little bit first. <laughs> you guys are freaking hilarious, you know that? Well, yeah? How's that? Because you really stink at tying ropes. forecast for you, Louie. It's gonna be bloody. Bloody with a chance of body parts. should meet my ex-wife.
Combat him, get away! Ah! <sighs> he had more brains than I thought!
Give him what for? Right. 